Hi there, today I'm in Vancouver to check out the 2023 Pacific National Exhibition. We're gonna go through and see all the events and attractions that they have on offer and give you the full tour. Let's go. Well, we've got some time before the live entertainment starts, so let's go check out the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs ahead. Back at the PE this year, we've got some sort of Jurassic Park. This is a Spinosaurus spiny lizard. What's interesting is that they've got a lot of dinosaurs here that I haven't heard of, and it looks like they're from South America and Asia and all sorts of places. It says this is a Kendrosaurus known as the spiny lizard. And these guys were found in Africa. I don't know if I've seen that before. It reminds me of a Stegosaurus, but the tail is a whole lot spinier. Plus, the plate's like a Stegosaurus. That's pretty cool. Every kid's favorite, it's the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Little arms moving there. Little Petroceratops like a mini triceratops. Doesn't have the horns on it though. And up here, what is this? Hypocrisaurus, it means under the top lizard. Pretty big guy, he's got sort of a bright red fin on the top there. That's very cool. This says it's a Herrerasaurus, one of the earliest dinosaurs, and he's got some good dance moves there. There's a Triceratops. Another one I recognize, this is an Iguanodon. It's got the beak-like tooth on his front, uh, front of his mouth there. And this menacing guy's a Neovenatar. Says from the early Cretaceous period. Comes from the Isle of Wight in Southern England. Over here, some festive topiaries. Actually, these are eco sculptures sponsored by the city of Burnaby. They have these different topiaries and flower sculptures set up all through city of Burnaby. It's very awesome. Maybe we'll do a tour one day. Some sort of tropical princess with a flowery dress and a lot of colorful sheep. Purple sheep. Look at this guy. He's got a flower necklace or a lay on and a couple of cactuses on top. I like those, very colorful, very festive. Next up, it's the perennial fair favorites, the super dogs.
what? You want you want to, want me to come over right there? Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, a photo? Okay, sure. Hold on one second. Let me grab a photo. Next up, it's the Flying Fools High Dive Show. The Flying Fools High Diving Show. Are you guys ready? Yeah! Showtime! From Montreal, the Living Squamish, Joanne Como. From Montreal, living in Vancouver, Rose Valley. From Nebraska, Evan Randall. From Orlando, Florida, Harrison Davis. From Calgary, Coco Gill. The Flying Fools. trip to the Peony is complete without a walk through farm country. Miniature Pinto horse. Cute little guy. Goats. There's a llama. This is Becky. 
Hi, Becky. Becky's having dinner. Some Nubian goats. Some geese and some ducks. Hi. I bet you're looking for food. Oh, some cute little baby pigs. There's their mother over there. Oh, there's one. Cute. Some newborn baby chicks. There they are, sunning themselves. Some baby ducks. Hungry rabbits. And just in time to check out some pig races. Welcome to the Aces of Lions Pig Racing Show. We are proud to bring back to the community the sport of pig racing. Similar to the world of motocross, where you watch your favorite drivers race around the Indy 500 for the million dollar prize. These quirky pig pilots will be flying down the speedway, not for the million dollars, but for some heavy produce. Let's meet our first race and pig. Make some noise for Kevin Bacon! Yes, sir. Get ready to rev your engines with your next piggy pilot straight from the Dukes of Hazzard. It's awesome! Now get ready for an out of this world racing extravaganza with Pam Solo! Next, another favorite is the Knights of Valor live jousting. Two grown men get dressed up in 150 pounds of armor, mount on top of their 2,000 pound war horses to ride into this arena, take solid wooden lances in hand, turn their horses towards each other, and charge full speed on the attempt to get Beat the living snot out of each other for your sick and twisted pleasure! And today, right here, as part of the P&E, you're about to see full contact just in life! What do you say? Knights received!
Let's head over and take a wander through Playland, check out the Midway. Of course, this time of year, the rides at Playland become part of the p &E. This is their latest attraction, Skybender. And Playland also announced there's a new launch coaster coming for the 2024 season. If we take a peek through here, we can see it under construction. And this was the location of the former coaster, the Corkscrew. This is the Mini Kids coaster called Bug World, which has a figure eight shaped track. And celebrating its 65th birthday this year is this classic Playland attraction, the Wooden Coaster. This is actually the oldest wooden roller coaster in Canada. And here's a plaque from the American Coaster Enthusiasts recognizing the Playland Wooden Coaster as an Ace Coaster Classic which is awarded to rides which give a classic coaster experience dating back to the golden age of coasters in the 1920s. Here's a copy of the wooden roller coaster blueprints which were created back in 1958. Created by Carl Fair from Seattle, Washington for the Burrard Amusements Company. And here's a whole bunch of photos of the wooden coaster that have been taken over the years, including an article by the Vancouver Sun about the original construction. The ride actually just underwent an extensive refurbishment a couple years ago, so it should live on for lots of generations to come. Another classic Playland attraction, this is the Sea to Sky Swinger, which replaced the Wave Swinger a few years ago. And nowadays this ride is known as the Cedar Rapids Log Flume, but back in my day it was known as the Wild Wasserbahn. This classic flume ride has two drops. First you go up the little hill for a starter before climbing the big hill to get to the near vertical 40 foot drop. And this is another long time classic Playland attraction. This is the Enterprise. This thing has got to be over 30 years old. I remember riding it when I was a kid and loving how the forces would pin you to your seat as you were turned upside down. Another newer thrill ride, this is the Beast, which swings riders 125 feet in the air. But towering above it, this is Atmosphere, which swings riders at heights of almost 220 feet. During the PE, they also bring in other attractions like the Gravitron, also known as Alien Abduction. Or you can test your courage over here at the Haunted Mansion, which is the park's year-round haunted attraction. Playland also puts on its Halloween experience called Fright Nights, which is celebrating its 20th year this year. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Getting ready for this year's Fright Nights event. A new haunted house on the way, The Void. Over here, Keeper's Doll Factory is already set up and ready to go. I think they keep this one up year round nowadays. Also at the fair this year is the Beyond Monet immersive art exhibit.
Thanks for joining me today at the PE. Hope you had a great time, and we'll see you next year.